What's up, punters and dribblers? Welcome back to a Melbourne Cup edition of the Saddle Club. Your uh, audio and visual, if you are watching us, tip sheet on the biggest day after the Hellesport Handicap in Australian racing, um, the Melbourne Cup. Very horny for it. Back here with Eddie and Porter from Punt Hub, as per usual. Thanks, boys. Welcome, gentlemen. The way this thing will go... Uh, we're going to do a quick accountability because we had some winners. And we're going to then just go through all the horses in the Melbourne Cup. Yep. Who we like, who we don't like. A couple of tips at the end. And then also an Oaks Day tip. Because there's something there that looks like it's worth having a look at. A special. A special. We love specials. We love specials. I specials. love specials. Nothing gets me toeier than a special. No, we I always have. That. Yep. This well, is the most sp- cheaper I've ever been on a Monday morning, I reckon. And it's because of the two winners. Yeah. Two nice ones. Yeah. The Rose Hill winners. The mm, Rose Hill were double. Good, they? Who good, were pi- they? good yeah, prices, let's re- let's, too. Uh, let's remind the punter and the dribbler of what so they So we'll were. jump into accountability. Yeah, yeah let's do Sweet. it. Sweet. Okay. I'll be quick. Uh, let's look at the winners. So, Race 7, Private Eye, um, smashed it. Just uh, climbed over him from a wide draw, too, which we thought wouldn't be a problem, and it wasn't. Uh, I think we tipped it at five fifty. I think the final price was probably five fifty or five bucks. Um, overlooked by the market after its Everest run, but anyway, that was a nice little learner, Bunsen burner. And then race eight, which was we tipped him uh, at eleven. Yeah, eleven. I, I wish I win. I wish I win. I yep. think it came in at eight fifty, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the punters knew. Yeah. Well, the well, punters heard the show and they yeah, were going, well, fucking Well, the punters well. knew that Porter was on. They thought, fuck me. The punters and the dribblers have bigger pockets, deeper pockets than you might think. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it, yeah but it's also the weight of small numbers as well. Mm. You can sort of, you could look at it multiple ways. Yeah, you could. We're brought to you by Neds, by the way. Don't know if I mentioned that, but shout out to Neds. We love Neds. We love and Neds. a shout out to, <laughs> I rewatched the video last night to uh, Ice Bath, which was ah. race eight at Flemington. Ah, which Eddie said he didn't want to be fucked by ice bath. Yeah, well, I said like I didn't want to take get an ice bath by ice bath, and yeah. that's exactly what fucking happened. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. when you put that shit out there in the universe, you need to bet on it straight away. And you know what's annoying about that is I know that to be true. Yeah, well, it is true though. Like yeah. I know that that's a thing in life. Yeah. What did I do about it? Nothing. Ask no. yourself what what I did about it. Nothing. Fuck all is what I did about 11 it. Eleven bucks too, dude. Like, it's, it's that's good money. Yeah, it well, that's is. fantastic fucking money. Hell. If yeah. you're sucking for twos, you're doing you, every hole's on screaming for eagles. 11s. Exactly. So, oh, and the yeah. rest. It was a that's time me up and whip me for elevens. Yeah, exactly. Jesus Cat Christ. Cat and nine tails. Yes, hundred percent. Okay, boys, you want to get into the Melbourne Cup? Yes. Runner by runner. Let's I'll, do you it. guys throw them at me. I'll give you a comment, um, and then at the end, like I'll, you'll hear from the comment whether we totally off them, um, and at the end we'll give you the, the win bets. A boxy try, and then we've got a wide try. Yep. Perfect. Let's so go. So who we got first? Gold trip. Yeah, five-year-old stone. Look, well-credentialed, but it's only uh, one win prior to this, and I just think the 57s might be a little too much for him. Um, he'll probably be running out of petrol right late. We were saying he's like a, a prop that gets an intercept halfway, and he's and you think he's going to get there, and the fucking the cattle are chasing him, and they mm. catch him late. Um, look, it wouldn't be an absolute shock if he won. He's definitely in our, ex- in our exotics. But we're not having him as a winner. Okay. Uh, Duays. Yeah, five-year-old Moore, not for uh, Mare, not for us. Uh, she showed heaps of promise in the autumn after the tanker that she won well. Um, and everyone was spruiking her. But, look, she's been poor this spring. She's untried at the distance. Uh, and with the weight and the outlook of a, a soft to probably heavy track, um, we're putting a line through her. Put a line through punters and dribblers. Uh, number three, Knight's Order, Gaze. Gaze yep. horse. Now, this is one of our win bets. So, <sighs> specky for us. Uh, look, showed a, a nice front-running ride in the Sydney Cup, which is a very, very weak group one, but it was on a heavy track back in autumn. Uh, he's drawn the car park and just expect him to get to the front pretty quickly. Uh, Waterhouse polish, they're tough. Um, they can stay when she wants them to, so... Look, he placed at the Caulfield Cup and had every right to fold then, so uh, you just never know. If he can get out and get some luck his way, he might be able to hold on, and I think it's a, it's a good bet. Okay. So he's one of our wins. Does Gay's record in the Cup, is that not that great? But she's Well, it had, isn't great, so uh, does that no. worry you? No. Nah. Has Gay never won she's a Gay? The horse, the horse doesn't won. fucking know what Gay's Waterhouse's record's like. Mm. That's no, a good well, point. Well, it's a good point. But maybe... But it's worth reiterating. The horse yeah, doesn't yeah. know what Gay's record's like. But does Gay's record influence the horse? Well, <laughs> I mean, you'd think so, given that she's training it. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's but a great but it's, it's, it's each horse is on its own merit. You know what I mean? Like, yep. it's not. 
No, that's fair. That horse no. doesn't know. It, it's it's not weighed down by history is what you're getting at. The Absolutely weight of expectation. Not. Think, Fuck, I wish Bart Cummings was just still around and yeah. he's here to fucking give me a yeah, tip. Yeah, like, yeah. No, no. Nah. Of course, isn't looking over its shoulder at you know grass is greener on the other side, nah, sort of thing just, like that. And she may she they're fucking tough. So I, look, I think that's like I said, it's one of our win bets. Beauty Montefilia, another one of our win bets. Um, she's a classy mare, four Group One wins, nothing to sneeze at. Look, she was super in the Caulfield Cup. People were saying that she ugly should have won. I don't think she should have won, but she went well, like she finished well. She hit the line really strong. She was. Pretty wide, the trip. Um, and her efforts through the line at 2,400 metres, I indicate she'll get the two mile. Mm. Um, it was a bit of a sit and sprint, which suited her, but she's great on the soft and the heavy. Um, she's the best of the locals, and um, if she produces her best, she's a definite win chance. Beautiful. Beauty. Are we? Can, can we expect rain tomorrow? Yeah, apparently. Yeah. So it's already, a, it's already a soft seven. Today and tomorrow, apparently. Okay. Yeah. So she could be heavy. Yeah. And after, what, race seven at... Three o'clock in the Arvo could be mm. chopped to chopped to shit, dude. Yeah. Well, chopped to smithereens, yeah. I think. So they don't have the, same, the, the surface of the Dubbo Turf Club, so no. Like, well, so it could go to. Mm. It's honest and true. Yeah, yeah. Very few people do. Let's go, Ed. Number five, Numerian. Look, should be up on the speed behind the leaders, but a huge distance query. We got him in the bottom half by a long way. Get rid of it. Sixty-one bucks. Fuck it off. Without a fight. Number yeah. Six. Look, we seem to be one of the few against him. Um, so it's a big query on the condition of the track. So if, if it's soft or heavy, we're assuming it's going to be pretty chopped up. The barrier doesn't help. He hasn't raced in um, in a big field like this with 20... Well, there's a scratching, so it's 23, 22 other horses. So we're happy to exclude him. Uh, William Buick, Billy Buick, wasn't riding well on the weekend. Just hope he hasn't bounced back and found anything. And yep. we're happy to leave him way out. Perfect. Uh, number seven, Kamora. Yeah, interesting one. We've got him a chance... Not a winning chance, but, but definitely for your exotics. So we're leaning into him more than most. Uh, he won a typically good form a form line race in the Kara Cup in Ireland, um, but then he put in a really shitty run in the St Ledger after. Um, but he's never run with less than 61 kilos in his back, and he gets 55. Mm. Um, and I just think there's... Look, yeah, he's one to include. I can't see him winning, so he's not a win bet. But if you want to put something on the place, or he's definitely in our trifectas, which will come up later. Well, you get 14 bucks for a place with our friends at Ned's. Not bad. So not not bad. bad. That's not bad at all, 14 not bucks bad. for a place. Now, the favourite, as it currently stands in the betting markets, is Doville Legend, Dowville Legend. Doville. Doville Legend. Yeah, look, again... McAvoy we're, riding. We're trying eight. to... Oh, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel, but we're, yeah, we're against him at the odds. Um, he's too young to be given this weight, so he's a, a total... Uh, guess at the surface if it's soft or heavy um, a, f- a big field for these Euro horses is kind of unknown like they might their record looks great when you look at them and the, but if you look at the fields a lot of them are racing against five, six, seven horses mm. so it can spook them when they're in a massive field like that like you think yeah. of the sound of that um, of them coming around the corner like 23 other or 22 other horses mm. so rekindling and cross counter one is northern euro three-year-olds which is our four-year-olds but they came in with like i don't know do your own research but it was like 51 and 52 kilos so the handicap bar hasn't missed Doville legend with the weight um and interesting i looked this up mcavoy's had 30 races over 2400 so 2400 meters or more mm-hmm. kieran mcavoy's had 30 races or further since the start of last season, zero wins. Zero. Zero. Doesn't like the long stuff. Well, he used he won three Melbourne Cups in the last I don't know since I can't remember, but in the last fifteen years he's won three, I think. Um, the couple it was the year that he won with Red Zell and the Everest and stuff. I can't remember. I'm, like I said, was it cross counter or? Are you suggesting he's lost his mojo? Mm. Yeah, there's something I missed. He's lost his mojo. Yeah. All right, which, let's keep rolling. Which, so if Austin where Powers it, taught us anything, can happen. Well, and, yeah. and, and it does happen. And if you have <laughs> lost it, very difficult to win Melbourne Cups. Very difficult. Mojo-less Melbourne Cups don't happen. Doesn't no, happen. they don't. Number Write nine, Stockman, 34 bucks. Yeah, look, uh, we were tossing him up for exotics, but no, we're not going to have him. So even with one of our favourite trainers, uh, Joe Pride, look, it was weird. He had a tune-up in Sydney on Saturday. So it's like a three-day backup. Um, and he had to get a float yesterday, uh, yeah, Sunday, and uh, make the trip down to Mexico. So it's like not really ideal pre-game conditions to be stuck in the back of a fucking... He's going to float now. No, yesterday. So he raced Saturday over, I think, 2,000 metres. Um, ran about... See, it wasn't a bad run. Like he sort of, when he got a 
late he sort of looked to show some um, some staying power. But like he went nowhere in the Sydney Cup, which is a really shit Group One earlier in the autumn um, on a heavy track. I just look, there's too many things against him for us to sort of have him in the uh, too many ifs for us. Yep. Beautiful. Now, number 10, Vow and Declare. Yeah, we're going to leave him out of exotics, but I only just uh, think the heavy, soft heavy will be against him. Um, even with Blake Shin, there's just too much for him to improve on. Uh, interestingly, his last win was the 2019 Melbourne Cup. There so he, hasn't, you go. he hasn't won since. So, look, I, I said here in my comments, if he wins, I'll shave my head. Okay. Okay. Have we got that on camera? Oh, we no, do. I do. <laughs> Shave your head, and we get to do it. Yeah. Okay, I'm into that. Perfect. If Vow and Declare <laughs> wins, we will shave Porter's head next time we're here. Yeah, next Saddle Club. Yeah, you and go. hold on, just short length. What are we? One. Bang, perfect, one. Well, that's like if you're shaving, you got to go one. you got to go. I'm, I'm agreeing with you, but I was just like, you gotta I, had, I wanted to have the length yeah, yeah. Uh, just explicitly outlined. I've never so done it. We I've never in. ever shaved my head. Fuck me, Well, dude. there we go. Calm so down, Claire. That's, that's now out in the open. <laughs> it's worth having a little something on down to Claire. <laughs> Young Werther, number 11 at 41. Oh, this fucking horse. Look, something I just, we seem to like about him. Like, I, I just, I can't jump off him. We tipped him as a roughy in the Cox Plate. Um, didn't do much. Uh, look, everything points to him being a bit of a numpty, but like, I just feel he's got a big race in him somewhere. Uh, he's only won one race, um, but he's just, I don't know, he's a stayer and he, he shows some appeal. So, look, if they do go crazy up front with speed mm. and they and they gas each other out, you know, maybe he runs into a hole, maybe runs into a second or third or you keep him in your, in your first fours. Young um, Werther sounds like a, a new age rap name. Young yeah, word, true. Yeah, like young gravy, young fucking, I don't know, just probably a few bit. <laughs> Reminds like me of Y-U-N-G. Words. Yeah, Y-U-N-G, young Werther. Anyway, that's just uh, a little something for nothing. <laughs> Who ya my? Yeah, weird one. Uh, another one of the uh, three-year-olds, the Northern Hemisphere three-year-olds. Look, even with Willow riding him at odds, we're going to be left out of this one. Questionable at the distance and the field size, again, because it's a Euro. Uh, look, no, and... Saying that though, Northern Hemisphere three-year-olds' records of late have been really good, but mm. they've been getting in at less weight. This one gets a bit less weight, but we just looking at the form, we're off him. So, no, nah, not having no Sweet. good. Serpentine number yeah. thirteen, eighty-one dollar dues. Yeah, we're gonna have him in our exotics um, after the run in the Archer. His Australian form's been pretty dog shit, but it's improved every run. So if he's if he keeps improving and he's looking to peak. Um, I can't remember who, but that's it's a very good sign if horses look to put like if their stats form showing that they're looking to peak at the Melbourne Cup. Mm -hmm. uh, look, I like quick up, quick backups with horses, and this fella's well, not the three day quick backup, but all this bloke's best results have been sort of seven day, fifteen day backups. So it is a quick one, um, very quick one. But look, he'll be setting a tempo. He's got some top tier breeding. He's one of the greatest sires ever, Galileo. Um, and he's got one of the most successful cup owners in Lloyd Williams. So you just, there's something about him. So Does Lloyd own him? Yeah. Okay. So we're including him. I don't think he can win. What did you say his odds were? 81. So I don't think he can win, but like... 17 bucks for a place. I think I'm going to responsibly go a little bit horny on some places yeah. outside of some wins. Yeah. Because there's some value here in these uh, in these places. Yeah, mm. there is. Well, that's, such is the size of the field, Thomas. Yes. Yeah. Horny value. That's why it's the race that stops the nation. Because oh, it stops it. Fucking you yeah. can, you handbrake. Can, you can get real horny on some places. Yeah. Uh, Daquian Sweet Junior. Yeah, I'm not repeating that. No, uh, and leave us out of this one. Fuck that horse. Stupid no name. Stupid name. <laughs> fucking it. What a dumb fuck. It's one in Adelaide Cup. Who just gives a, a fuck? Just a dumb name. Yeah. And an ordinary third in the Sydney Cup. Cannot have in any way, shape, The reason or it's not going to win outside of any form that it may have is that whoever the fuck, like, that had to go through so many sets of eyes and hands before that name was, like, allowed and to someone go. Someone said, yeah. Oh, Everyone it's disgraceful. Like, yeah. It should be people try to the Hague for that name. That's my opinion. Number 15, Grand Promenade, 91. Line through him. Can't handle the surface if it's heavy. Um, and he finished six last year. Um, but he had really good figures leading up to that. So it was one of those things where he looked like he was building to it. This year, his lead-up figures are just horrible. So don't really know what he's doing there. Hard pass. Hard pass. Arapeo? Arapaho? Yeah, all right, but fuck, I'm, oh, you're better than I am. Uh, out of you're his getting depth. some tough ones, Tom. Yeah, I am getting some tough He's ones. He's out of his depth. Bjorn Baker. Uh, who I love. 
great trainer and he's doing fucking he's come along so well but look I just out of his death the wide draw doesn't help uh, he's consistent uh, the surface is okay for him but look he might finish sort of the top half but we're leaving him out of all exotics okay 17 emissary 41 another one we're going against just based on the track if it was firm we'd actually probably have like if it's good track good mm. three good four um, sunny and he was on top of the ground we'd be on him um, with the lightweight but uh, just no, nah, not with the wet. Mm-hmm. Now the next up, and this horse is one that if I was just running my eye over the field, there's a couple where I'm like, that sounds like the name of a horse that would win the Melbourne Cup. That's all. I don't know why. It just I. Just I'm pretty see sure that se- shit. this is a Sebo tip. Luna Flair. Yes, yeah, well, the- he was going on about that the other day. Yeah. Yeah, he was. Who's going about this horse? Yeah, because yeah. maybe that's why it's in my in my brain. It I was. remember seeing it, being like, "Where the fuck have I seen that?" That before? might be where it fe- it's it's sort of doesn't he? Into my he brain. likes he likes things to do with the moon, s- the moon, the moon, the, the moon, the astrology. I tuned out, but he Greece. went on about the moon. And he started talking, and I was like, "He likes that and shit." I oh, did it win, or it, it ran the Quinella. The benefit is no, it got it would have got second off. It won two starts back. I don't know if that was the right, if that was the race or not. 19 bucks, though. 550 a place, which I'm just getting, as I said, I don't want to go on and on about my, you know, excitement. No, I ran to, second to last start. Places, yeah, but, but it, yeah, I said it won two, it yeah, won two, two ago. Starts, yeah, 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 yeah. Learn a um, flair. So it's there or thereabouts. No, it was. Oh, we tipped Francesco Guardi, which smashed him. Yeah, that's and, right. And um, Sebo started going on about the moon. So yeah. we got the. Uh, that's That sounds like Sebo. <laughs> Cronella. All right, the next one. Smoking Romans. Okay. Jamie uh, Carr. One of our win bets. So we like he. Uh, yeah. Didn't have the run of the race in the Corville Cup and had to go back onto the inside. It was a bit bashed around a bit. and um, But look, you can't run a super race every race unless you're an absolute superstar. Um, but look, the market had him uh, favourite. So it's ability there, seen, but it's like they talk about an SP profile and stuff like the market, the money – had him as favourite. Um, so the abilities there, seen by all and sundry, uh, can handle the surface as long as it doesn't get to a, like a full-on bog. Like a heavy 10, yeah, you'll be... If there's, a, there's a few ifs. But look, Jamie Carr went at her best, one of the best there is. 51.5 kilos, gets the right weight profile. He can get cover and sit behind the speed. Um, look for him to produce at the, the, the top of the straight. And he's one of our win bets. Beautiful. Eddie? Love it. Number 20, Charlie Rose. Absolutely not. $91. Next. Charlie Rose definitely could be like a Gold Coast, uh, <laughs> either a Gold Coast <laughs> wag or rugby league player. You could have two of them. You could have a rugby league player and his wife being called Charlie Rose. Yeah. Charlie Rose is a bit of a handful. Yeah. Not in the Melbourne Cup. She's not. No, no, she, no, no not in the Melbourne Cup. Point of pain scratched. Uh, 22, high emotion, but it's spelled E-M-O-C, like M-O-C-E-N. Trying yeah. too hard, line through it. Yeah. Trying too hard. Yeah, well, she won the Bendicay Cup on Wednesday, but like she held off a horse that was like rated 77. They talk about an upper camera, but still not a great rating. Um, she was conceding only half a kilo, had the dream run, and she won it by about a head. It's just too much for her. She's making up the numbers. Righto. The Gold Coast. No, that's not her. No, that's, 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 that's high, high emotion. Is yeah, yeah. So is making it? up the numbers, yeah. leave us out. Uh, 23, interpretation. Yeah, maybe finished top 10. Um, looked promising with uh, his Euro form. Um, it's just nothing's gone right over here. Nothing's clicked. The weight barriers trainers are only real positives. Um, that's being pretty generous. Mm. So leave us out. All right, the last one, number 24, the market mover currently on Ned's uh, Realm of Flowers. I do like the name. Yeah, we were tossing her up as one of the win bets, but we've just, yeah, I don't know. Look, she's one we like. She's a genuine stayer. She's got no weight. She's massive in the Metro. Three wide, no cover, pretty much all of the race. Um, she'll just need a little bit of luck from the back, like, uh, well, from almost the back. She won't be right at the back, but if she gets a, a clear running is sort of coming into the straight. Like, you'll get a good look at your money. I just don't know if she's strong enough to win it. Mm. Um, so it wouldn't surprise me second, third, fourth, but winning it, we've got our three win bets, um, and she's not one of them. Beauty. All right. Well, there it is in terms of how we're seeing these ponies. Yep. Now let's just get some bets out of the way, and then we'll get the fuck well, Should out we of here. recap your win bets? Yeah, yeah, sure. So punters and dribblers, we've got three win bets that we like. Um, and they're currently 
uh, numbers 3, 4 and 19. So number 3, Knight's Order, $16 on Neds. Number 4, Montefilia, $11 on Neds. And number 19, Smoken Romans, $16 on Neds. If we had to choose one, I'm going to say Montefilia because local. The second favourite out of them would be Smoke and Romans, and then the third out of them would be Knight's Order. But there are three win bets. Beautiful. Yep. Like it. Boxy try, we've got four runners. Yep. Uh, uh, no, we've got five runners in the boxy try. So it's numbers one, three, four, 19, and 24. So that's one, three, four, nineteen, and twenty-four. Yep. Love it. That's the boxy, and that's then we've boxy got try. we've gone wide, uh, and what that means, punters and dribblers, is that you have to play with some of the combinations. But for the first place, we've got our win bet, so three, four, nineteen. For second place, we've got numbers one, three, four, seven, thirteen, nineteen, twenty-four. We'll put a graphic. So this will all be up on the Instagram. Yeah. Don't you worry about it. And then. Third place, we've got 1, 3, 4, 7, 11, 13, 19, and 24. So we haven't quite tipped the field. But that's to give you an idea for the mathematics. You guys are really strong at maths. Yeah, we uh, are. Oh, yeah. yeah, huge on So yeah, $168 will get you 100% of the divvy. Okay. There you and go. And that's pretty much it. Now, should we talk about the spesh? Yes. A spesh. There is a spesh. There's a spesh. Oaks Day. We love specials. I said before I get towy for specials. So I'm not going to give it a big Bar me up. Um, I'm not even going to give you much of a comment on it. I'm just going to say to whatever you win on the Melbourne Cup day, which is Tuesday, you could responsibly roll it all into yeah, this. Yeah, you could. This is not financial advice. No, it's not. Let's no. make that clear. All he's saying is if you were to win on the Melbourne Cup, you could roll it into this horse. Yes. Yeah. That's and all he's saying. It's all he's saying. Not, he's not saying anything advice. else. That's, he's not saying anything other than what he's saying. So don't try and, you know, overanalyze it, all right? And now I'm just can't giving find you a special. Fuck, now we're having some special based issues. Can't find a <laughs> special. <laughs> Blake Where can't find it? his special. Blake can't find his special. Oh, maybe. Hang on. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Blake can't find his special. Kid can't find the special. Lost his special. Kid's lost his special. I think they've taken the market down. Will he find his special? They've taken him down. Why? Oh. Would, why? Oh, there must be some uh, scratchings or they're doing the barrier draw. Well, who is it anyway? Uh, let's put it up on the... Um, let's keep people... Well, we'll put it up on the socials after Melbourne Cup. Okay. Yeah, it's not... I know what it is. Plot but twist. I, I, yeah, we don't want it to... That plot twist, you fucks. Uh, Spesh will be released on Wednesday, Thursday. It's for the Kennedy Oaks. Yeah, for the they Kennedy have taken Oaks. it down. They've taken yeah. it down. Yeah. So we're not going to do it yet. We haven't leaked it. No. Nah. So that's it. That's Melbourne Cup. That's it. Enjoy your punting. Do it responsibly. Thank you again, Porter, for coming in. Thanks for having us, Punt boys. Hub for all your pony tips throughout the day. Eddie, getting married this week, Porter. So oh, yeah, I'm going to a funeral. That's you know what? It's the circle of life. That's, yeah, it's average, a circle it's of life. Circle of life, man. It's the so, circle. <laughs> congratulations. Thank you, <laughs> congratulations, Sebo. Yeah. <laughs> Sebo got engaged. I'm Sebo getting engaged. married. It's all happening. Porter's got a funeral. <laughs> yeah. There you go. And we're going to get winners at the Melbourne Cup. Ciao. See you later. Neds. Gamble responsibly, Neds. <laughs>